This is the Fujifilm X-Pro3. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the lens that is always on there. Hey guys, my name is Andy, and if you're new to this channel, in here we do talk a lot about photography, videography, lens and camera reviews. I've been a photographer for five years now, and I gotta tell you, it's one of my favorite passions. Today, we're gonna to be talking about this 35 millimeter F2 by Fujifilm. This 35 millimeter is basically a 50 millimeter or 48 millimeter equivalent in a full frame. And the reason why I say that is that in a crop sensor, you have to times everything by 1.5 to equal the full frame equivalent. 35 times 1.5 is around 48 to 50 millimeter, somewhere like that. This lens brand new is $399. Super cheap lens and look how small it is. Check it out, tiny. I normally wouldn't do this because it exposed my sensor to other things and I would want to keep it on for the rest of the video. And that's with the lens hood. Without the lens hood, you're talking about super, super tiny lens. I love, love, love the 50 millimeter focal length. And yes, it is a 35 millimeter, but you guys know what I mean. This The 50 millimeter focal length is just like my favorite focal length. From now on, I'm gonna be saying the 35 millimeter lens, okay? Knowing that it is a 50 millimeter equivalent in a full frame. I use the Canon R5 and the Sony A1 and all of those cameras, I use a 50 millimeter full frame lens on there and it is my favorite focal length. So the fact that Fujifilm has this 35 millimeter, it was a lens that I has to be in my camera bag. I went with a F2 version instead of the f1.4 and yes the f1.4 would provide me with more bokeh i found that the f2 version is just as good i don't need super super blurry background i would always like to have at least some clarity in the background so you can kind of see what's going on if it's all blurred out all bokeh out I don't really see the entire picture and I don't know where it is. I'm just looking at the subject. I love when a picture has some context in the background. This lens is a hundred dollar cheaper than the F 1.4. It's not a big difference, but I just didn't really feel like spending that extra hundred dollars. In this video, I'm not going to pixel peep about any of the pictures that I have taken. I'm just going to be talking about my experience with this 35 millimeter F2. Since this is one of my favorite lens, it's always on my camera, the X-Pro3. This, this combination never leaves each other. It's just the perfect lens to take around for anything you do. I do all my street photography with this 35 millimeter and I've done portraits with this 35 millimeter. I pretty much have done product photography with this 35 millimeter. Focal length 50 mil, you didn't get the point. It's one of my favorite focal length, so it's always on this camera. I took this to Japan and I went to do street photography with it, and you have no idea. It took so many pictures that I fell in love with. Some of the pictures that I took in Japan and I took it with this camera, this combination, I just love the way it turns out. I love the color of it, I love how sharp it is, I love the bokeh in the background. This combination is super small I'm literally holding it with two fingers and it just it's just so small in light and I don't have any reason to not take it out usually a 50 millimeter would be a lot bigger than this so the fact that it's this small it's so nice to have if you guys want to buy this lens used right now I would probably be able to find it for like $200 or maybe 180 which is a great price for a lens like this if you guys can find a 30 millimeter f2 or even f1.4 if you guys really want to you should definitely go get it. It is such a great combination. It has the aperture ring on here, which is really nice. A lot of Fujifilm camera lenses, I think actually all of them, have the aperture ring, which is amazing. I love changing the aperture on the lens than taking up a spot on my camera, especially a camera like this where I don't have that many buttons and dials to begin with. The focus ring does keep spinning to infinity. I wish there was a way to kind of set it where it stops and then it goes back the other way when I want to, but nope, it is keeps on spinning. The aperture ring does have a nice click to it. If you guys are interested in this lens, you guys have to check it out. I'll leave some links in the description below for my affiliate links if you guys want to click on that. But by all means, 
you don't have to buy it brand new you can definitely buy it used let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment below and i'll talk to you down there other than that if you guys did like this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already my name is andy and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya